Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we're looking at a Beretta M9A3. This handgun's been around since 2016. I've been wanting to check it out all that time and my buddy picked it up and he is allowing me to review it and I'm super excited to do so. They have a Vertec grip, that's what they're calling it. A little more vertical, a little thinner, very nice texturing on the back strap and the front strap. 5.2 inch barrel that is threaded, a Cerakoted barrel, like a flat dark earth, a coyote tan Cerakoted slide, anodized aluminum frame that has a full pick rail there, and it's a double action, single action trigger pull. You're looking at four and a half pound trigger pull with the reset right there. A lot of people love the M9 models, and they did a great job with this. The unloaded weight, 33 and 1 8 ounce. Let's take a few shots. Seventeen round mags, and I had, I believe, twelve rounds loaded up. And the base plate mimics the same color as the slide, but a very nice handgun. And what I think is super cool is that G10 grips are also offered on the aftermarket for you know that that G10 feel, that that firm feel. But out of the box, this isn't bad at all. It comes with three seventeen round magazines, tritium dots standard they're not suppressor height but they are raised and it does have the thumb safety decocker okay you decock it puts the gun in safe they have another one called g mode that is just the decocker that is nice as well but a full-size handgun that sure does shoot nice i really do enjoy it and the double action pull is a little lighter too they they lightened up the the main spring they call it a d spring and i think that's for double action but let's go ahead and load it up and we'll fire it some more the msrp on this handgun is eleven hundred dollars now on my tabletop review i said that they go for around nine hundred dollars and that is a fair price. However, once the comments came back, some people said they picked theirs up for closer to 800, maybe even a little less. So it's it's not a cheap handgun by any means. It's certainly not cheap quality. It's a it's a uh, sort of like you get what you pay for kind of thing. I hate saying that because it's a cliche term, but um, but in this case, it's true. Now a lot of people wanted a optic cut slide, and I don't think that's going to happen you know uh beretta has the that uh that that piece that goes i don't even know what it's called but that piece that rises with each shot and so that would be in the way also the way this slide is cut it's not wide enough to put an optic on there i'm sure somebody could figure out a way or at least put a rail on there but in my opinion it works the way it is i think it's a fine handgun and I like that that beaver tail. I like the color combination. Although they also offer this in just black. One thing that I don't care for is that Beretta uses a polymer guide rod. I think a handgun of this quality should have a steel guide rod. I know many are offered aftermarket but i think it should come standard with that what it does have that's a good thing is an oversized magazine release and a flared out mag well so many people said they purchased the steel guide rod and they like that much better i think that should come standard but here we are 18 yards away let's see Ah, all right, so there it is, Beretta M9A3, definitely a straight shooter, a well put together 
firearm that has a long history of success. Many people said, once I did my tabletop review, they said that their original M9 is their straightest, most functional, best shooting handgun that they own. Uh, I don't own one, I don't own this, but I certainly enjoyed reviewing it. I think it's a fine handgun. It's, it's definitely a pricey handgun, but everything that it offers, plus that very cool look, makes this one fine choice. And also a show-off piece, and definitely a straight shooter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.